In the previous vlog, I'm exploring an India luxury hotel chain called ITC. The ITC Gardenia Hotel in Bangalore is one of the most beautiful luxury hotels in the city. The breakfast buffet was included in the stay and I had the shared experience because it's a phenomenal Indian food and Western food buffet. The buffet costs 1,150 rupees if you're not a guest and I can guarantee you will leave completely stuffed and satisfied. More of my videos on foreigner travel in India are linked down in the description below. If you'd like to see more in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let me show you why you should have all of the foods here. We have a special stand for the South Indian filter coffee. And if you're coming to the South as a tourist, you really, really need to try that. This is the toast section. And we have... Ooh, Kirai Vada here. Whoa! Wait a minute. Is this Paripu Vada? Hmm, it looks like it. Definitely have to try it. Medu vada, very, very traditional South Indian. And then we have sambar, of course, rice idli. Yum, oh my gosh, look at that steam, that's so fresh. Then we have pudina idli. So pudina means mint. Whoa, we'll definitely have to try that. Coconut chutney, kotamali chutney. Hmm, that's interesting. Railway chutney contains peanut, oh, one of my faves. Kempu chutney, ghee, gunpowder, and gingery oil. More South Indian signatures. So, what do we have here? Shira, a South Indian sweet dish made with semolina. Okay, that looks interesting. And then pongal, this is a rice dish. It's kind of like kichdi, but with more spices. And then a semiya bath over here and chana masala yum just so you know you can order the breakfast specials appam with stew paratas aloo gobi and paneer <laughs> if you want the chole bature chole bature made to order look at these plates this is so amazing so this is very good for south indian food because over here you can have the chutneys and the sambar and there's this cute banana leaf as a really nice detail because sometimes the food is served on banana leaves this looks so beautiful i want my food served on this kind of plate we have some special drinks over here we have kombucha which i've never had in my life so definitely gonna try that sweet lassi contains nuts set curd and beautiful beautiful uh, clay pot and then we have nut shakes sounds questionable sorry <laughs> musk melon smoothie Ooh. basil seed and yogurt parfait bircher muesli mango yogurt and some baked yogurt some amazing fresh fruits we got pineapple over here we got guava fresh figs whoa love 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 fresh figs papaya and watermelon i've never had kombucha in my life so let's do this cheers my friends to a very very satisfying breakfast <laughs> That tastes like a shot of vodka without a vodka. Just saying. <laughs> First round, because we obviously have to have everything. I've got the set curd in the beautiful little clay pot over here. We've got the vada, because obviously I have to try that. The pudina idli, because never tried that either. Coconut chutney, green chutney, and the peanut chutney. Ragi dosa over here on the beautiful plate. So excited. This is a huge dosa. Look at my hand. That is so nice. Going to dig into the vada. I am so, so, so excited about this because I absolutely love Paripu vada. And I'm not sure if this is it, but I'm just hoping it will be. Mm, this is amazing. So fresh. So fluffy. Look at that. The spices are on point. It's crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Absolutely on point. Then the Pudina idli, so the mint idli, and let's try it with the coconut chutney over here. The idli is super, super fluffy, but I can't taste any mint. I have to say, let me just try it. On. Okay, I really can't taste any mint. I don't mind. It's a good idli. It's nice and fluffy, warm. Let me try it with the peanut chutney. Mm. Pe 
peanut chutney is my favorite. So I need to have some of that set first. Whoa, look at this. So nice and firm. Mm. Wow, just wow. That tastes like it's farm made. And that's a massive compliment because it tastes so good. Yum. The ragi dosa is served with the green chutney, with the coconut chutney, oh, with the red chutney, and the sambar. So let me try this. Ooh, you're probably gonna hear a big crunch. Yes, that is mega crunchy. Let's try it with the coconut chutney. Yum. Mm. Love it. It's super crunchy. So if you like your dosa more on the softer side, you will have to tell them that. Ragi adds so much flavor to dosa. I absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. No, no, no. Look what is arriving. Chole bature, freshly made to order. Wow, look at that bature. Holy moly. Haven't had it in such a long time because this is honestly the best when it's freshly made and you don't always know if it's that good. I'm so going in for this. Wow. Just wow. Whoa. I think I literally didn't have this for like over a year. I do prefer my bature a little bit thinner, but the chole is like so good. There's like this zing of freshness in there. I think they might have put like a little bit of lemon. It is not too spicy, like overwhelmingly spicy. Mm. Chole bature. Chole bature for life. In case you don't know, bature is puffed white flour bread. <laughs> That's the best way I can explain it. Because the difference with the roti, roti is made with uh, wheat flour, and then naan is also made with uh, like regular flour, but naan isn't puffed. Like you saw this, this patura was like puffed, like a full cup. So it's basically different kinds of Indian bread. Mm. And bature, you specifically eat it with the uh, chole, so the chickpea curry. So yummy. Moving on to more food, we got some baked yogurt over here, some sweet lassi. I really, really love when they serve lassi in these clay pots. That is some amazing yummy lassi. It is not too sweet, which is often my problem with lassi. There are nuts in there. This makes you feel so good inside. It's really, really yummy. Going to try the baked yogurt. That's so creamy, rich, and not too sweet again. Usually my problem with the sweet stuff is that it's too sweet, but the lassi, the baked yogurt, they're absolutely on point. The Indian food here is so on point, I don't even want to have the croissants and those kind of things. Obviously, this is not for say Indian food, but the chole bature, the ragi dosa, the idli, yum. Not even joking, this is the table situation right now. They're asking me if they can clear anything. No, nothing. I'm going to eat it all. This is a gobi paratha over here, and this is a paneer paratha. So the parathas are stuffed with a filling. So this one is stuffed with paneer, and this one is stuffed with uh, cab no, not cabbage, cauliflower. There is a Fabel store at the ITC Hotel, ITC Gardenia. So we have a beautiful chocolate Easter bunny over here. A coffee machine for those of you who want to wake up in the morning with a good cuppa. Oh, this is a salad bar actually for the people who want to be healthy. These are some dried plums. Oh, brie, nice. Almonds, olives, cheddar cheese. We got apricot over here, walnut, mango jeera chutney, pineapple green pepper chutney, and more cheese. So this is Emmental cheese. And we have crackers for the cheese. The cold cuts over here. And fish with orange vinaigrette. Oh, that's interesting. Cakes over here, muffins. Muesli muffin, this one. Donuts. Oh, that looks very, very fresh. Would love to try that. We got some Berliner ball 
over here chocolate glazed donuts and mango danish over here multi-grain croissants welcome croissants so many breads actually oh that's a lot of varieties of bread french baguette and a german rye loaf i'm guessing that that's that one we got the milk bar over here some cold milk some soya milk skim milk wheat flakes corn flakes muesli and some choco flakes over here we got obviously the decorations for the muesli or the cereals got some apricots raisins crunchy muesli over here honey soaked almond oh that sounds interesting peanut butter cashew nuts walnuts oh dried figs almonds sun seed flowers flax seeds pumpkin seeds everything and we got some oats porridge the juices orange juice apple beetroot and carrot fresh juice whoa i would love to try that some fresh fruit being cut over there and we got the fresh fruits over here too wait the oh these are beetroots <laughs> so not just fruits we got cucumbers carrots they even have a special asian breakfast counter so stir fried vegetable hakka noodles over here and stir fried vegetables soy sauce sesame oil mushroom and barley congee oh wow they actually have congee that's interesting what is this oh bacon <laughs> very typical breakfast food for all your meat lovers pork sausage then we got chicken sausage over here baked beans this is very english <laughs> there we go and then moving on to the Vichy vegetables what is that okay very healthy green pea and cottage cheese croquettes basically croquettes with paneer pancakes contains gluten oh yes oh look at that steam that's so fresh we got chocolate sauce what else do we have pancake syrup honey jamun honey jamun oh that's interesting like honey all kinds of jams even vegemite whoa okay that's some service french toast eggs hard boiled egg grilled tomatoes and baby potato in mustard i did have to try the western food because let's just try the quality of it obviously got another vada a berliner german rye bread donut and a multi-grain croissant going to try the donut is it with cinnamon yeah it's with cinnamon i can't say anything bad about it it's a good cinnamon sugar donut since we're into sweet stuff let's try the berliner too it's not stuffed wait it's super fluffy though it's covered in cinnamon sugar but where's the filling oh mm -hmm. On point, not eggy vanilla cream. I can't say anything else. The food at the breakfast buffet is so insanely on point. Like everything, the Western food, the Indian food. Holy moly. Final thing I'm gonna try on camera because honestly, they are closing the buffet now and I just need to finish eating everything. The paneer parata. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Just yum. It's really good, but I like the chole bhature more. That chole bhature was so, so good and the ragi dosa. Mm. I can officially state that this is my favorite luxury five-star hotel breakfast buffet in Bangalore. It's not that they have like a world of choices, but the choices that they have are so well done and I honestly prefer that over a hundred choices that are like mediocrely done. I even had them pack up some food. It Yes, it was just that good. Actually, also check out the ITC Gardenia vlog, which I've linked down in the description below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe now and also click the little bell icon to get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!